straight glory The vibes light over me Hey guys, Zach Faymore here. Let me just get this game up so you guys can all see what is going on. Let me just quickly switch. Okay, there we go. Hey everyone, I'm Zach Faymore. This is Iron Cred Realm on Zach Faymore's Let's Play. So, yesterday we went to the end and we killed the Ender Dragon and we went to the End City and we got ourselves some Elytras. It was... Uh, a little bit difficult, not overly. Um, and we found the end city eventually, and everything else. We managed to get back perfectly fine, uh, and we had everything in our end chests, so they didn't disappear and everything else. We didn't lose them and whatnot. But as you can see, I am in creative. Uh, I wanted to build a shrine, as such. Four, and let's go and have a look. I'm going to turn around. Du, 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 du. A shrine for the end egg or the end dragon egg. So let me just, uh, ooh, there we go, do this properly. <laughs> so basically, yeah, I wanted to have a shrine uh, because the egg was donated to me to do this in spawn. And so here it will remain. And I also wrote a little short story about how we obtained the egg. So uh, I'm going to read this to you now because I think it's a pretty good story. Although some of it may be a bit funky because Minecraft does this thing where it scans for certain words and then hashtags them out if it thinks it's inappropriate or at risk of... Of, of something I don't I don't know what the rules are what or why they do it but they do it so one of the words has, has, has been hashtagged out but I only noticed after I saved the book and 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 signed it and closed it so I can't edit it anymore uh, but uh there you go so without further ado let's have a read oh let's get to the first page that might help <laughs> Ironcrad, 26th January 2020. On this day, five brave adventurers set off to find a place like no other. A place once said to have been built many thousands of years ago by the Endmen. I added a word there, sorry. <laughs> they went to the end. Our quest starts with five adventurers. Anthony, Robbie, Danny Hughes, Funnyberry and Zach Faymore. They first equipped the very... See, I'm adding words again. They first equipped the best of all they had. I should have probably, you know, added that word very. I don't know. I'm not very good at writing stories. Unknowingly, what well, was about to unfold. First admission through the nether. This was a walking part compared to what was to come. What's to come? <laughs> Some time was well spent double checking equipment once they had entered the stronghold. Where? The portal to the stronghold. To the strange dimension. I can't read either. Can't read, can't write. Anthony opens the portal. And with no hesitation, Robbie jumps straight in. The others... Soon follow straight... The, the, the others... The others basically follow. They, they follow. I don't know why it's hashtagged out. I can't remember what the word was. But they've hashtagged it out. When humans enter the end, the Endermen must decide which side they are on. They're not on our side. They are not on our side. For as long as anyone can remember, the Endermen have lived in the mysterious land of the end. As they all merge into the strange place, they explore the ancient realm under the watchful gaze of the mighty Ender Dragon. They have come to steal artifacts and slay the Ender Dragon. With the Endermen staring right at the team, they realised if no one did anything, they would die. The Enderman's pupils were purple, and the whites of his eyes were magenta. Its jaw opening wide, and it was making a ghastly noise. <laughs> With totems of undying, swords and bows in hand, all five fought through the halls of Enderman and reached to where the Ender Dragon slumbers. In this ancient land where 
uh, there sits end crystals. These provide the dragon his power. But even with its end acid breath and dragon fireballs, it was no match against the smarts of Robbie, who quickly climbed the tall obsidian towers and took out a crystal. Zekthamor, with great aim, shot two more. Funnyberry and Anthony lay devastating blows as the dragon got weak from the crystals being destroyed. But the dragon got Zekthamor with its acid breath and a token a totem kept him from dying, but it wasn't enough, for the Endermen was too many. Anthony also got apprehended from the onslaught of Endermen. Both men recovered and joined the fight once more. The team's quick work on destroying the End Crystals and with joint efforts, the dragon was slain. An egg was left behind from the dragon's defeat. It must have been a mother. Her egg now sits under a barrier to prevent the egg from hatching. This book marks the day five people made history in the world of Aincrad. And there you go, that's my little silly book. And uh, so yeah, the little shrine that I made for it uh, with the doors that open and close when it's daylight because I added a daylight sensor. And yeah, well, you know. But uh, that's that. I just wanted to show it off. Uh, and make it all nice and pretty and have a little story which kind of went with it and uh, it's silly but yeah that nah, is cool so um yeah i hope you all enjoyed i broke something whoops don't tell anyone i'll get in trouble whoops <laughs> but bye for now guys i'll see you later